Hi, I'm George Levy. I believe we're changing the world one blockchain at a time. In this video, I'm going to be talking about electronic health records and the blockchain. Stay tuned. So I just got back from a routine medical appointment with a new doctor. You see, I recently switched health plans and my previous doctor does not take my new health plan, so I needed to find a new doctor. So as I went to the new doctor, as I'm coming in, I had to fill the customary induction forms. You know the ones I'm talking about, where they ask you, do you have any history of migraines? Do you have back pain? Do you suffer from loss of vision? Do you suffer from la loss of balance? There's so many different questions they ask you. Do you have a past history in your family of cancer and a wide range of different conditions? And you know the form I'm talking about. I had already filled that form with my previous doctor, but I filled it again for the new doctor. As I go inside, as I'm talking with this doctor, the doctor starts asking me a lot of questions about exactly the same things that I had already been talking about with my previous doctor. So I asked my doctor, doctor, is there any way that you can have access to the medical records that actually have the chart of all the things I've been speaking about with my previous doctor? And the doctor says that he doesn't have visibility into that information and there is no, no system that actually enables him to access that information seamlessly. So my question to you is this, wouldn't it make sense to actually put medical records on a permanent distributed ledger, such as a blockchain, that is protected cryptographically and only the right people get access to it and the rest of them are shut out? And that is what blockchain promises to bring to electronic health records. As I kept speaking with the doctor, a key thing that brought up uh, in the conversation was the fact that in 2009, the federal government committed $19 billion towards electronic health records. And yet here we are in 2018, and there's such a siloed space between medical records among all the different doctors. And the more I spoke with my doctor, the more it became apparent that having a solution that would enable my doctor to be able to access my entire medical history throughout all the years and all the different procedures and different doctors that I've spoken with would be very beneficial not only to my health, but to the fact of reducing costs and also any possible mistakes that I may be prescribed a medication that could have counterindications with something I may have experienced before. All that could be made uh, resolved by actually having a blockchain and putting medical records on the blockchain. So let me ask you a question now. What do you think about the possibility of having medical records on a blockchain? There are multiple projects right now that are working on just that. And as the years progress, you'll be able to see more and more of this medical information moving onto the blockchain. Until then, let me know what you think in the comments below and tell me, do you think having your medical records on a blockchain is a good idea? Do you think it will really benefit us? I would love to hear from you. Until next time, I'm George Levy. We're changing the world one blockchain at a time.